he was able to mix some boxing in with his slugging ability. And we don't know from his opponent, Dan Dan Kuda, whether he can do that. We haven't seen him reach another level yet. Maybe he'll do it tonight with, uh, with Kevin Rooney in his corner. All right, let's take a look at the tail of the tape, how these two fighters size up. James Thunder, you've seen him tonight. You've seen him before, that Mr. Universe look. Very rarely is he in against somebody bigger. Dan Dan Kuda has shown us some speed at 250 pounds. Very unique heavyweight look. The rules here in Nevada. No standing eight count. Three knockdown rule is in effect. You can be saved by the bell only in the last round, and it's a 10-point must scoring system. Here's the champ now and the blackboard. On tonight's Boxing Blackboard, brought to you by Old Spice, James Thunder, his strengths. He's a fighter who's really into it, and he's learning to improve. Early he punched himself out, but now he paces well. His weaknesses, he is easily excitable. Good fighters will get him to slug, and he swings wild. Those jungle tactics don't work at this level. His opponent tonight, Dan Dan Kuda, his strengths come from his size, big and strong, and he has a powerful punch. His weaknesses, all that power thrown too tight, and never 10, he has questionable stamina. Dan Kuda has not been the distance. Ladies and gentlemen, bad promotions along with your undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser, this Bud's for you, present the USA Tuesday night featured bout of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. This bout is sanctioned by the Nevada State Athletic Commission and the three judges assigned scoring this bout on a 10-point must system will be Chuck Jampa, Art Lurie, and Dave Moretti. And when the bell rings, the man in charge of the action referee, Kenny Bayless. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from the Aladdin Hotel and Casino of Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing the white, gold, red, and blue, and weighing in at 250 pounds. His professional record is 16 and two. 11 of his 16 victories by KO. He comes to us originally from Romania, but now fighting out of the Customato Boxing Club in the Catskills, New York. Ladies and gentlemen, Daniel Dan Cuda. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trimmed in black and weighing 225 pounds. From Rio Dosa, New Mexico. His professional record is 24 and 5, 18 by KO. He's known as the man from down under James Thunder. Okay, fellas, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I want to caution to be my commands at all times. I want the fight to be clean at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch gloves. Two-time Australian champion who made the move to the United States nine months ago, now living in New Mexico. He has had six fights since coming to the U.S., six victories, and he has really become a student of the game. You take a look at the body, you would think he is a slugger. That's what he was, but now he is learning the box, and he is uh, bringing tremendous confidence in the ring, and boom, right off the bat, the two heavyweights look to take one another out. They know they'll be in front of each other all night long. They are carved from similar molds, hard punchers who like to load up and throw at one time, and two fighters who are now trying to develop boxing skills as they head closer and closer to the top 10 in the heavyweight division. And here they are, Sean, going head-to-head -head at this point in the career. And uh, this is something, uh, unfortunately, we don't see too often in boxing right now. They're just uh, they're throwing down the gauntlet. Who will continue? Who will take a step back? You know, last year, I believe, no two heavyweight top ten contenders faced one another. I mean, outside of a champion against a, a, a top ten. But Well, it's, it's dangerous to do because all of the money is in when you fight for the heavyweight championship of the world. James Thunder said, I just want to keep active. Then he said, maybe that's why I'm not rated in the top <laughs> 10. <laughs> Who knows? This is Dan Kuda's first 10-round scheduled fight. 
It's also his first let's get ready to rumble fight, so he's uh, stepped up in the world here tonight. But uh, he does not have the experience to compare with Thunder, who comes off two 12-round victories over ex-world champions. Great learning experiences against Tony Tubbs and Trevor Burbick. Dan Dan Kuda has never gone 10. He's gone eight once. He's gone six on two occasions. And uh, other than those three fights, has never gone beyond four. He did fight Tony Tubbs, but that was in that heavyweight tournament in Biloxi where it was only for three rounds. And the question is, uh, can this young fighter do it under pressure? He has yet to be tested in this kind of situation, but he comes in with that great confidence. He's been working on that, what he and Kevin Rooney are calling the move. You see Vinny Pazienza do it quite a bit. Tyson, of course, likes to roll and worked under Kevin Rooney, and originally coming from Customato, but Rooney says that the Dan has picked it up so quickly. Oh, yeah, the pivots he's talking about. You pivot over, get the angle on your opponent, and then unload. Big power is Dan Kuda, but Thunder punching back. Dan Kuda listens. He follows directions in fights, and Kevin Rooney says, that's what I need to build me a champion. Someone will follow what I want him to do. Good overhand right from Thunder. Thunder had to do something. Dan Kuda is overpowering him. There is a good uppercut from James Thunder. What a difference in a fighter with James oh, Thunder. Oh, the left by Thunder. You know, and Thunder now with some combination. Yeah. He has always had that tendency once oh. he gets in the trenches to slug. He doesn't want to do that. But he's slugging out Dan Kuda here in the late seconds of the first. The end of this first round where the thunder started booming in the head of Dan Dan Kuda. Jimmy Thunder with these thunderous overhand rights coming back with a left hook. He is brawling early in this match. One thing that he is trying to get out of doing. But you know, you see his mouthpiece hanging out of his mouth. That is a very dangerous thing to do. He's already tested the strength in that first round of Dan Kuda. Dan Kuda was mauling all over top on top of him. He had to do something to turn this fight around. And Thunder did it by punching Dan Kuda, making him run into something, make him take a step back. Kevin Rooney in the corner of Dan Kuda telling him, you got you to get off, you got to throw more punches. But Rooney indicated one of the reasons that he is in the corner with Dan Dan Kuda, said that this is one tough kid who has the will. And he says that's what he always looked at, and that's what Customato always looked at first in sizing up a fighter, something they certainly found in Mike Tyson. Yeah, you got to have a kid that is tough. He said he takes a good shot. He's got very fast hands. He's mean. He's still trying to settle him down, though, and control his temper is Kevin Rooney of Dan Dan Kuda. Now, if you're in there with a fighter like Thunder, whose mouth is open, you got to go for that mouth if you're Dan Kuda. Try to hit your opponent right in that mouthpiece. Right now, Dan Kuda must do something to turn the tide of this fight. And he is a fighter who can turn the tide with one shot. What Dan Kuda is looking for, watch James Thunder's left. He has a tendency to hold the left down low, and Dan Kuda's best punch is the right. Yeah, and look at, look at Dan Kuda's hands, too. And Dan Kuda, that's been that Kevin Rooney training, hands up around your face. You protect your face with those hands. You hide behind them. You know, one thing that James Thunder, they're going to have a lot of trouble with him later in this fight if it goes that long. Because look at these shots from James. Every punch is a home run. Every shot he's throwing is a lot of energy, a lot of power, but he's not connecting. Yeah, not like you know, the you know, first round. You know, Alex Stewart, who was uh, here earlier, is talking about the James Thunder, and he says, you know, sometimes he doesn't look impressive, but he always finds a way to win. He's a hard worker and, and seems to be tireless. I mean, he's got 12 rounds in each of his last three fights, beating Burbick, Tubbs, and Richard Mason. Oh, yeah, he's a tough kid, but what I'm worried about is those jungle tactics that he's talked about in the, in the past. He goes out and he just tries to brawl with his opponent. Oh, big right hand. Dan Kuda's hurt. 15 seconds to go. Dan Kuda wobbling. You cannot be saved by the bell. Unless That's all. Oh, Bellis has stopped it here in the second round. James Thunder comes out strong. Unload. Right hands. 
crumbling. And they quickly get the stool in there to set down Dan Kuda. Power punching. Every shot was a home run and finally finding the sweet spot. James Thunder, just as I'm talking about, if, if he'd have gone much longer, James might have been winded. A lot of power from him, though. All the confidence coming from the Dan Kuda corner coming into the fight. But James Thunder, very calm, said, will he be able to box? And Thunder outboxing Dan Kuda early, opening it up, and then slugging him out in impressive fashion. Thunder with the early knockout in the main event. Today, Dan Dan Kuda trying to figure this out. You heard him before the game who said it that before the fight, it'd be a miracle if James Thunder would pull this fight out.